So, Don and, and Ken, would you guys feel comfortable talking about how Ken pretty much saved you in the hospital? Sure. Yeah, sure. Ken, yeah, yeah. You mind talking about that story? Well, uh, well, that was crazy. Don's back was broken, and he had a rod inside of a, you know. Two rods. I, to, I broke both the rods. Two rods. Yeah. I right. Bro- broken both. Yeah. Those are broken. Yeah. So his body was bending forward. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's like bowing all the time, you know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's just, just uh, it was hurting him really bad. I had the back surgery. It was 10 hours long, you know, to pull out the old broken stuff and put in the new stuff. And then after that, they had to scrape the scar tissue. Um, you know, because the rods were broken and like this. And when I would stand up, they would go in. When I bend over, they go like that. And so they scratched a bunch of scar tissue on the inside of my body there, you know, against my, my back. So it took them three hours to scrape the scar tissue out after the 10 hour surgery. Ken Ken had fun hanging out at the hospital for 13, 15 hours. You know. Just I don't know how you could last that long with two broken rods, much less one. Well, I ain't then, too smart. And then it's and then it's literally cutting up the inside of your back. Yeah. As you every time you bend over and you didn't even notice. Yeah, I'd walk hunched over, and then I would get yelled at for I'm being hunched over. Hunched over, so stand up straight. So I'd stand up straight, and then, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah. the of you. you are fucking next level pain so finally the, my friend uh, father was a big uh, you know the, I guess very known back surgeon in California or in the US so we took him down to the doctor and immediately you know went to the Cedar sinai Los Angeles yeah went to hospital. Cedar sinai and yeah. doctor he, he looked and we took an x-ray and he said, well, there's a problem there, dumbass. You broke the rods. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh. Yeah. So, right. So, Don, you had you broke the rods. And how, how long did you like, go without not even knowing they were broken? I walked around for two and a half years without knowing they were broken. That's, in, that's yeah. insane. I knew my back hurt, you know. It was sore. But I ended up losing my quad on my right leg, you know, because right. it cut off the, the sensory to it or something or, you know. So I, 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 dragged, right. I dragged it, but I didn't drag it enough to, to be aware of it, you know. Wow. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. I'll, and, I'll uh, going. yeah, that's what was going on, huh? So went to the hospital immediately, you know, they have to operate on you, right? Surgery, back surgery to fix the rod. And uh, that was, that went well, actually, surgery-wise. Right, right. But then, uh, yeah, three, four, four days after that is infection started and you started to bleed in your from from your brain mm-hmm. and uh then directly you went back to you went back to icu and you went in a coma yeah we so, went outside we went outside to get in the get in the car and i had a hemorrhagic stroke out in the parking lot uh, that was lucky you know <laughs> yeah <laughs> having, it, having it right there man that was luck yeah and uh, that was crazy, huh? And uh, I think you're in coma for three weeks. Yeah. And during that time, there was a lot of things happened. <laughs> but uh, one of them was, right, we had to use uh, makeup uh, alias and password because you know, just like any other celebrities, you know, they don't want any other people who are just fans, or, you know, come over and, uh, you know. <laughs> do whatever they want so yeah when, but, uh, when i came to you know after the coma i came to the they were like who the hell are you you know <laughs> because obviously these nurses and doctors aren't aren't watching the fights you know and uh, they said who the hell are you we had people walking up down the hallway you know <laughs> asking questions and trying to get information and, and I said, I, i'm nobody I didn't even know who the fuck it was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know, huh? And then during when you were in a coma, that your heart almost uh, stopped. 
So your heart was failing, so we had to put the, the jump start to your heart. That was crazy. <laughs> yeah. You were all tubed up and everywhere and unconscious, and your heart was, uh, you know, failing. And uh, I had to give a consent to jump start your heart, or you'd be really dead, right? <laughs> <laughs> really, <laughs> really good. dead, not kind of dead. But really <laughs> <Yeah>. dead. <laughs> you're, you're half dead, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, uh, finally, after three weeks, uh, you know, yeah, you woke up, Somebody but then you were out. not able to speak. What's that? Something showing up. No, somebody's got to take Quinn out because she's sniffing around like she's going to piss. Oh. Yeah. So, a, so Don, was it true that you said when, when you woke up, you were speaking Japanese? Is that true? Yeah. Yeah, I woke up speaking Japanese, and they didn't know what the hell I was saying. So Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the cardiologist, one of them came in and asked you if you were okay. And you started, kept, kept saying toilet, toilet. And you know, that's in Japanese, that means toilet. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I started to say uh, those, those, those Japanese words out of the blue, right? <laughs> well, he had me, my, my, my alias was the Japanese name, you know, so. <laughs> I don't, I, Do you remember what it was? Yeah, Benkei Yamamoto, right? Yeah, Benke, yeah. Ben so K. nurse came in, okay. Hi, Benke. Yeah. I was like, what <laughs> she didn't know your name. So. Yeah. She's, you know, they always ask your name so you get the proper medicine. And yeah. I said, Don Fry. No, that's not who you are. So what does it say? Benke, I'm a, oh, yeah, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That was funny. <laughs> yeah. Nice. And, uh, yeah, but the scary part was your memory loss. Yeah. After you woke up from three weeks of a coma, uh, you had a memory loss. So I came in and uh, you started to say, uh, where's my dad? Where's my mom? Okay, that was a hard thing to answer, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Because yeah, I didn't know your memories are gone. So I had to say, well, remember your dad passed away five years ago? And you started to cry. And, uh, you know, the like, first time you heard. And that was like every day. And uh, then I had to, I realized, you know, your memories were gone. And uh, I had to ask you, okay, do you know where we are? And you said, Australia. Okay. <laughs> and he said, I said, get me out of here. We got to get out of Australia. This is a shit country. Okay. <laughs> I said, no, we are in the Beverly Hills. <laughs> I said, they're going to kill me. But, we got to get out of here. <laughs> But that was every single day. So, you know, nurses, doctors had a very serious face, worried. But, you know, it wasn't a nice, too intense situation that I'm going to make kind of a, you know, more funny. So I said, Don, okay, I told you 50 times by now, we are in Beverly Hills, Cedar Sinai, <laughs> we are not in Australia. And you started to laugh again. So that was kind of tension was gone. But everybody was worried that your memory is completely gone. And a it couple was, it of was friends. for a while. <laughs> yeah. Your memory loss kept going for three weeks. So I was afraid they're going to transfer you to a mental hospital next instead of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That would be crazy. But uh, no doctor kept telling me that your memories will come back at once. But he just didn't know when. Right. So that kept going one week, two weeks, and three weeks, and uh, finally came back. But uh, a couple of your friends visited you and uh, they asked, hey, are you done? Are you okay? Do you know who I am? Your answer was always no, no. So <laughs> some of them took it personally and just yeah. out of tears. <laughs> I, I bet, yeah. Yeah, so that was a crazy time, but you know. <laughs> so I heard, I heard a lot of feelings. Yeah. <laughs> but... Uh, you want me to? You want me to mention some real st story? What happening? What happened? Sure, sure. Like uh, if uh, your divorce situation. Yeah, go ahead. Let's, let's yeah. that. It's the truth, though. Yeah. <laughs> now the bottom, the reason we really had to have alias and password was basically his ex-wife uh, wanted to make a decision on Don's life, and there was. 
during the divorce and she hasn't been really nice <laughs> and uh, yeah trying to get all your assets and everything and uh, if Don dies she's gonna get get everything everything without even like a you know going through a divorce you know a trial or nothing zero yeah. and she insists that she has a control of your life and uh, basically I had to block her out because she filed a divorce and uh, there was a conflict conflict of interest that she doesn't have a right of your life controlling your life anymore right. and I already consulted consulted with my lawyer everything and um uh, yeah, she had no control, no right, no right. So I had to block her out and made the uh, alias and password to keep her out. But she was calling all Don's friends, even nurses, that uh, she's missing Don and she needs to come over and do try to find out where you were. Come so over and pull. The, come over and pull the plug. <laughs> <laughs> that Oops. was the hardest thing. That uh, Don, you're in coma, having a hard time, but I had to keep. Uh, fighting, keeping her away as a, like a loyal samurai, yeah, <laughs> your yeah. guard. Yeah, the guy that had to do that. Why well, you would have been dead? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, because um, so. And then she started to accuse me that I kidnapped you, and she's gonna go to police and get me in legal trouble. And uh, that was not gonna happen. I laughed at her. Right? It was a joke. I said, "Go ahead and try it." And uh, I was just doing what Don, you asked me before you went to the hospital. Right. And uh, yeah, so that was all I was doing. So nothing that she could do legally or I definitely didn't kidnap you. <laughs> so that was crazy. But she called, tried to manipulate all your friends, even some known fighters yeah. or other celebrities tried to, you know, find out where you were by reaching me out and uh, I didn't trust anybody. All of a sudden, so many of them said, they are your best friends. Right. Okay. <laughs> so you all of, all of a sudden you had a hundred best friends, Don. <laughs> what's, what's his favorite okay. color? <laughs> what's his favorite meal? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so, okay. So I had to basically make up a lie to keep them away that uh, some of the known fighters or celebrities trying to pressuring is and now Don's fine. He got out of the hospital. He's doing physical therapy. I had to keep them away. And uh, other friends, you know, they try to tell me what I have to do. I have to bring his, your ex-wife and uh, everybody and everybody should know, should see because they were manipulated. And right. so I had to talk to them, sit down, explain the situation. And they understood totally. So, uh, you know, after that, uh, your ex-wife could do nothing. And uh, <laughs> yeah, but then uh, you came out of coma, your memories are gone. So, holy shit, what am I going to do? Yes. <laughs> yeah. And I, I came, you know, morning and night, right? Uh, yeah. Every day. But then one day I came in and here I go, there are two, three security guys standing outside of your room. Okay, so what did he do now? <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, I got close to the room, security guys, are you Kenya Suda? Yes. Okay, we got a problem. Okay, what happened? And then I looked inside and you were all tied up on the bed with a, you know, <laughs> rope. <laughs> okay, so, uh, and then you saw me and you started to say, oh, get me out of here, Ken. <laughs> these guys gonna, <laughs> these guys are tying me up. Get me out of here. And uh, so these you know, security guys, like five total, five guys were there. And I told them that it's going to be okay. And they just left, stayed outside. And they cl I closed the door. And he started to say that uh, what they're doing. And that was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> he started to tell me that all these guys are trying to rape me, and help me out, get me out of here. Yeah, you're, I guess yeah. the paranoia, that's one of the big things yeah. of coming out of a coma. You know, the right. ICU is a paranoia. Is, is oh, really I see. Crazy. Yeah. So that was pretty crazy. And, uh, but you, Cause I remember, you wanted to, you know, untie you. Yeah. Yeah. Because I, I remember you I was, want me? I'd look at him and I'd say, okay, I got to get out of here. I got to kill this guy, kill this guy. 
and then go down the hallway, go out the window, you know, climb the roof, you know, steal a car, go around the mountain, you know, <laughs> you go steal, kill this guy, <laughs> go over to the ocean, steal a boat, you know, get back to the U.S. because yeah. I'm here in Australia, you know. <laughs> you are right. No, I think you did try to do that. You took one, took down one of the big security guy. Yeah. He was like, it's probably six, five and 270. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. With your condition, you took him down on the ground and he just, just happened to hit your chain. It cracked it open. So, <laughs> and you couldn't get up because of your back. Yeah. So they just, yeah, put you back in the bed, tied you up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bleeding, bleeding like a stuck pig. Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And so, okay, I untie the ropes, everything, and you set up. And okay, you said, let's go. <laughs> okay, so you wanted to get out of the place. I said, no, that's not going to happen. And, uh, you know, so security guys out there, and uh, it just a lot of funny things happen like that, you know, before your memories uh, came back. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, but. Uh, yeah, but everything, I mean, that you had to do within, uh, I think after that, four or five surgeries yeah. because your infection kept coming back. So they had to open your you know, back again, 10 hour surgery, getting rid of infection and close it. And, you know, five, four or five times. And that took total probably two and a half months you're in the hospital. Crazy. Yeah. So, yeah. And the, the worst part, the crazy or surprising part was the bill, right? Yeah. The U.S. hospitals are so expensive. And you had a great insurance, but uh, yeah. it was like two and a half million dollars, right? Who can afford that? Right, right. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that was the craziest thing that uh, ICU one night was thirty three thousand dollars Damn. Okay. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. I don't know, know where uh, I don't want to go. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> right. And uh, I think during that time in the hospital, you've lost from 230 pounds to what, 170. Yeah. You know, like, yeah, you look like a war prisoner just came back after 20 years. It's like the crazy skinny, right? Yeah. Pony and uh, just totally different guy and uh, scary. Like some people actually die, you know, if they lose that much weight in the hospital. But uh, one thing we were talking and laughing is that whatever happens, you just you just never die. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I went through that again over here in yeah. Tucson. <laughs> Holy <Hi>. shit! <laughs> you okay? <laughs> yeah. My phone is off. Sorry. Uh oh. Yeah. Good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Perfect. I, I went through that again here in Tucson. Uh, right. I had problems and couldn't walk and all this stuff. And then, uh, you know, then, then they finally, they took an MRI and they couldn't find anything, you know, MRI in my spine, couldn't find anything. Then they had a, um, one guy go through every photo piece, you know, photo by photo. And they right. found that there was an infection inside the spinal cord. Oh, yeah. wow. And it almost killed me. And one of the fucking things is uh, when these asshole paramedics, um, when they come to pick me right. up, I was in so much pain, I was cussing. And he says, right. I'm not going to take you if you don't quit the cussing. And I looked at his captain and I said, is he serious? He says, yeah, they, they can reject, you know, the transfer. Oh, God damn. Wow. Yeah, so that guy almost killed yeah. me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, I thought about suing his ass and suing the, the the fire department, but I didn't, you know. Never oh, yeah. Su- yeah. Uh, I should have. I know. That I heard that. Spinal cord pain is crazy, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you almost died there, right? Yeah. In the hospital in yeah. Scottsdale. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. I almost you, died in Scottsdale, but the year later I was over here in Tucson. So I've had a had a real bad decade, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's been a shit. Yeah, decade. this this has been going on since uh, 2010. Yeah, well, I almost. had five back surgeries: May 2010, May 2011, 
you know. Oh, and, yeah. And this, you know, it started probably in 07, you know. And right. 06 or something, right? And, um, shit, maybe before that, because I remember I took a uh, Vicodin before the Shamrock fight because my back was hurting, you know. And right. And you tell during the fight I was moving so slow, you know, shit. That that was two thousand three, I think. Three, yeah, that's right, huh? Yeah. That's around the time, a little bit before that, you broke your back, right? From yeah. Pro wrestling, I yeah. believe. Yeah. He just didn't know it was broken for a while. Well, I, yeah, I broke it. My broke my neck the second time in ninety eight, ninety nine. It must have been ninety eight because I worked on it for a year and a half. And, right. Yeah, and I could see, you know the atrophy of the muscle going down my right arm, you know, and gotcha. so they, they did the surgery on my neck. They fused my neck in 2001 and, uh, right. Masa, Masa Saito called me, you know, and his wife, Michi was translating for him. And, um, they said, you know, cause, <laughs> cause I told, I call, I told them that I had a broken neck, you know, and, uh, I couldn't do, they didn't want me to do the Tokyo Dome show. The doctors didn't. And she says, Don San, oh, yeah. Don San, I, I know it's your neck and your health and all that, but um, we've already advertised. You think you can push yourself one more time? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, yeah. So I did the Tokyo Dome and um, uh, then got the surgery and then, then they says, well, how long was the recovery? You know, I said, three months. Right. Yeah, three months. And they said, okay, we'll see you in three months. And I was back in the ring in three months and one week, you know. <laughs> oh, right. I don't think it was fully recovered. It's just, you know, recovery to, basic recovery to start doing uh, rehab, you know. <laughs> right. That's right. <laughs> wow. So, by when we shot the training video, your back was already broken, huh? Uh, I think so. I think so. Yeah. How did you do squats? <laughs> no, it wasn't broken. It was just hurting. It was hurting real bad. Yeah. It might have been broken. 2000, I think it was 2003 or four, right? I think yeah. it was three. I think it was, I mean, I don't know. It was after the um, Takayama fight. Right. That's right. Yeah. yeah. 2003. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. yeah. We did uh, some uh, scenes with the squats, 225. That was. We didn't go heavier, but no, couldn't couldn't go heavier, man. Takiyama beat the shit out of me, you know. Oh yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Ken Shamrock, you know, like I got lucky on both those fights, you know. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh. What are you What are you down. doing, Ken? Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing, your sort of? Uh... <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that was two thousand three. And here you are now with a big ass hole in your knee. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and, and some dumbass uh, got stuck on cleaning it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, every day. Yeah, lucky, lucky dumbass. Yeah, thank you, dumbass. Yeah. <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah, no problem. My my pleasure. I like like getting to see you in pain. I'll just poke you really hard with the. With the Q-tips. So far, you haven't caused me any pain. <laughs> Actually, that's what surprises me too. Every time I clean that thing, you don't even it doesn't even bother you at all. No, it doesn't bother me at all. <laughs> like I said, it's just crazy to see the progress from where it was when we first started to now. Yeah. I think it's a day. I think it's a, like I say, I keep saying, like you're freaking Wolverine, man. You freaking just heal like tomorrow. Oh, no we'll have to take a photo of it, you know. And yeah. I got I got so quite, I got a few. I'll show the the progression of where right. the first hole was to where it was in the middle to <laughs> even today where it was. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'll put I can put those up on the screen so people can see it. Yeah, like I said, we should start a fans only page. You know, <laughs> you know, yeah, you, take pictures of all my surgeries. You know, I'm saying there's gonna be people that would pay big money to see that. Yeah, <laughs> weirdos out there for like everything. Yep. <laughs> Some people would bitch, but they still want. They still check it out. Yeah. 